fight, seconds. First round knockout. How how are you feeling in there? Like uh, I felt good, you know, like a regular fight. I wasn't going in looking for no knockout. Just finding finding the and I just got it out of there. For real. Now do were you anticipating anything from her? Or like no, we anticipating anything from her? Like your opponent? Uh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, were you looking for the knockout? No, I wasn't. I just went in I'm Right now, I'm just trying to get the experience, but I guess my power got out. Okay, hell yeah. And um, do you remember like the, the punch that, that knocked her out? Like, you remember yeah, the, the combo? Yeah, it was a uh, body shot. I heard it with a body shot. After that, she ain't going to Man. Did you, and did you see her? Uh, You happen to see her after? Yeah, I saw her in the hallway. Oh, okay. She asked me, uh, can I take a picture? She told me I She said, I hit hard. Damn, yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know. As soon as she came out the ring, she was like dancing though. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I saw that. I looked and I was like, that's who I was playing. Yeah. <laughs> but then, how you thinking this this the rest of the year gonna play out? Like, what are you thinking uh, to right do? Now we looking to fight every other month, so I stay. Okay. Cool. That's good. And um, uh, yeah. How were you? How you feeling like before? Like, what was it? Yeah. How you think it was gonna go on um, before? Like you were just locked in. Like I said, my last fight, I don't, I don't know what I'm getting, getting into. I'm looking up my opponents for to see how they fight. I just, like I said, I wasn't looking for the knockout. I just went in, and did my thing. Got you. It was over. Got you. And uh, any last words to um, your supporters? And yeah, a lot of supporters. Yeah, those thank here. you for supporting me. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. Good. And uh, words to Baltimore? Yeah. Uh, any words to Baltimore? I love y'all. I ain't never gonna leave y'all. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you. Thank you. Congrats again. Coach Kyle. Just see if you actually had tonight. You had um, Stacey Selby, man, from out of um, Washington, D.C. Fight out of uh, the Boxing Man. Great night for him. Pro debut. Um, did exactly what I needed him to do, you know, take his time, put his shots together, and he put them together. I see a lot of great things coming from him if he just stay focused, stay in the gym, and just do what he do. So, now that, that was a lot of knockouts. Do you think, were you anticipating that, like him to knock No, I, I don't train for knockouts. If you know with tank fight, I, I, I don't ask him to go knock nobody out. I, tank, I train him to F, really F somebody out. You know what I'm saying? Really, really, I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? If you clip somebody, they're going to say, ah, oh, it's like Santa Cruz. Tank was beaten. Yeah. Everybody said, oh, he was winning in the fight. Yeah, it's Tank from Reba. Man, you got clip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You still with him. But that's what knockouts do. They mm -hmm. hit him for like a shot. But when you punish him, mm -hmm. what happens? Yeah. They don't want no more of that. Can't say so nothing. That's, that's, how, that's how I train my guy. I'm trained for punishment. Punish yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear you say that a lot. Punishment. Can, you, can they stand the punishment? Yeah, punishment. When you knock somebody out, man, they don't, it's, it's, it's just like cutting off a light switch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't remember that unless they look at the tape. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I like when I see a good fight, fight going good, you punish them, boom, boom. In the corner, the corner, wave the towel, that's no more. Mm -hmm. I hear that. Cause yeah, that's the difference between a flash knockout and, yeah, punishment. Exactly. Yeah. It hurts more at the end of the night. <laughs> mm, yeah. It hurts more. See, the other guy was hurt, definitely, after. Especially well, when if you look at most interviews and they ask you what was up, your hardest fight. And they think about the guy that really whooped them. Uh, you know? yeah. Remember when you got a whooping from your moms? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that type of stuff. Yeah. Man. So that's that's our method. Of, I don't care about the knockout. See what I'm saying? I care about punishment. Okay. And um, reaction on Mia? Mia oh, Ellis? Mick. Man, that's my baby. That's my little, little niece. Man, we've been working on stuff between her dad and me, back and forth with her and whatnot. Um, as soon as I called the shot off, she ripped it off and got out of there. You know? mm. And, and she's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. That's good. And now, um, I think she's anticipating uh, more. A lot more fights this year. Well, we got uh, Monzo, our African lover. Um, he's fighting in um, Florida. Then we got Malik Moore King. He's fighting in Florida. Then we got Lorenzo Truck Simpson. He's fighting in Florida. Okay. Yeah, so we busy. We busy. Then um, whatever's next. You know, we're going to keep him busy for 2021. You know, since the pandemic, boxing has changed. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, every chance that I got to keep them all in breath, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yes, um, you'll see. Just stick to him. Just keep watching our camp. Just yes, sir. We, we, don't, we don't duck no breath. Yes, sir. And, um, how about Javante? I know, I know, uh, Ryan Garcia, you're supposed to fight. Well, him. uh, again, if you watch my podcast, Rise okay. podcast, on Sundays at 12, we always give you the insight of what's going on. You know, we already knew. If you watched my last week, I told Ron to sign the contract. You know what I'm saying? And if you watched the Mike Tyson tape, he really didn't want to say all that. If you really watched it at the end of the fight, he put his head down, like, yo, what in the world I got myself into? So, Eddie Hearn saved him. Good job on you, Eddie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He understands the business, you know, but eventually they gonna make the fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just the dollar signs behind it. You know what I'm saying? So that type of fight gotta be made. You know, so it's yeah. just, we we're gonna move on to whatever's next. Uh, you think, uh, you think, you think, uh, Ron Garcia will really fight Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao think about fighting Terrence Crawford then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's based on moves. It's based on moves. What's the best move? What's the best legacy? It's based on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and my little man already battled the CEO's business. You know what I'm saying? You know, that could be a, a, a lateral move that they don't really want to fight because it's business at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know? I think, what's the difference between fighting like a experienced fighter, just say like Tank, um, and then like just say Shel- uh, Stacey Shelby? Like, when you train guys, experience versus not. So experience, like, is there much of a difference? No, a fight is a fight. It's just making the adjustments in the fight. You know, uh, guys with experience, yes, they got experience. That's part of getting past them levels. So if you be an experienced guy, that level, you, you want that level now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get caught up with the experience. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? We wake up the same way, we bleed the same way, we eat and drink the same way. That night, whoever's in the best shape, Best conditioning, best everything. You know what I'm saying? That's the one that's going to, and the one who won it. That's the one who won the time. You know what so, I'm um, A guy with experience, you can tell a guy with better, because I've seen, uh, and I have with it, you see guys that had great experience get beat by somebody just on the scene. They just didn't know what. Mm. They slept on mm. Tank. Tank won his first world title against an undefeated champion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And he, oh, he's nobody. He don't know. But everybody in the boxing world that knew Tank. New hot tank was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, you experience, pay attention. Got gotcha. you. Know? And um, you say what's what's special about Upton, Upton, Upton in, in Baltimore? Family. Yeah. And, you know, Baltimore going to a lot of things, and Upton is a family-based gym that we try to help our fighters, help our kids. You know, try to try to get the best out of them and want the best for them. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of talent coming from up there. It's a lot of talent in Baltimore for it. You know, and just finding them and cultivating them and trying to make the best out of them. Okay, most definitely. And um any word uh to like the Boston community? I know y'all y'all come any word like to the Boston community, like a message? Like with y'all about that team? Just try to make it this pandemic stay safe. That's the main thing because this pandemic really changed boxing. Sir. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for your time, coach.